Hey kids, it's Ben now, and in the last part we beat some guy, in this part we're gonna beat this guy, maybe. Hold on, check the deck. Always check the deck, you wanna make sure you've got the most optimal deck, at least at the beginning portions of the game. Cause you never know, you never know. So I got more new arenas, that's kinda weird. I might replace one of these with a pincer, but, uh, Gyarados isn't very good actually, but I think, unfortunately, I have no, uh, sorry, I have no, uh, magic up, which is good. I got Squirtle as well, the Squirtle's cool. Um, what am I gonna use? I'm gonna go anti-meowth and give myself that pincer, because that pincer is pretty good. It's always good to be dominant in that type, by the way. Remember when you were, well, I don't know if you, but originally when I played Pokemon, um, the original game, uh, I, I always decided to go one type. I found out that multiple types is the best thing, because you can learn to become any other Pokemon, which is good. This game, that's not the case. You want to be able to go one type, uh, on the whole thing. We're going to send out that Midoran fi- Damn, Midoran? Nidoran. I'm gonna send out the Nidoran female because the Nidoran female can ensure me a good hit. Especially in this guy. What did he play first? Uh, right Horn, we're gonna examine that. Right Horn is weak to the grass, which is handy. He's got 70 HP though, and he's also got a move called Leer, which basically means that the opposing Pokemon cannot attack. And it's a flip, I know, but apparently the computer gets it a lot, and then he's got Horn Attack, which pretty much destroys everything you've got, and he's weak to, and he's strong against the um, electric, which is a pain. So we're gonna go Grass Energy, and we're just gonna go Furious Wipes. Furious Wipes, three coins, and if you get, you get ten damage for each. So we are only doing ten. Oh wait, times two! So that's twenty! Huzzah! The opponent, he kinda looks a bit derpy. He's like, yeah. A lot of people like Bill. Oh gosh, it's got Onyx. And the Fighting Energy. Oh, by the way, there's no Rock type. They're all fighting. Yeah. I hate this battle. It's not necessary, I know, but I'm showing it off because he gets to use that, which basically means you are you can't do anything. And it's not like you can't. Well, actually, Paralyzed means you can't do anything. Either. So we're gonna do one well on the Netherite Mail because you never know what the Netherite Mail is gonna do. So we're gonna be done. It's also kind of weird because it says you can't attack. Oh, thank goodness. Hopefully, if we get three heads. Not in an arena, that's very convenient considering I have one in the deck. No, I, uh, no, I put two in. Yeah. Still. So, uh, oh, by the way, I may as well talk about this. Call for family means you can search your deck for uh, for any Nidoran male or Nidoran female and put it onto your bench. Uh, so you, it, some of these moves are good if you want to shuffle your deck, but there's no way of actually knowing the order of your deck. There's also no way of knowing if you're going to hit. Which is great. Well, he's not putting any cards on, so we're pretty much in a stalemate here. <sighs> that sound brings back so many memories of me getting annoyed at this kid. Uh, I'm gonna go for the water engines on the Nidoran and we're gonna, gonna reno it up. Can I retreat? Oh, by the way, here's the thing. When you're retreating, make sure that you've got enough energy cards, because if you don't have enough energy cards, it's not gonna tell you. It just won't let you through in, tile, or in total. But the problem is that the energies that you've given up already don't come back. That's something I've noticed with this game. <laughs> when you're retreating and you don't give all your energy cards, you lose the ones that you just gave. So make sure that you want- Oh, dang it. Make sure you want to retreat, you know? Wee 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 <laughs> Yeah. Grass energy. Oh, I want to go grass. We're gonna go water. Oh gosh, he's got- Oh gosh, gust of wind! Who's he going to? Oh, the Eevee. And then he's gonna horn attack the Eevee, and I'm just gonna be dead. Wow! Well, you know what? I got a new arena, so I'm gonna smash through this kit and I'm so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get that Bulbasaur up, you know? So I guess the wind, yeah, blows you away. Horn drill, because I don't trust my luck with coins. Yay! Oh, King Love. So Snorlax. Snorlax is a tank, as you know. 
another rifle, and I hate right on. Right on is pretty bad, but right on is a basic. That's, that's nice. I won't evolve this straight away because the problem is with like swords that you'll need three engines, and I don't have three. Okay. Um. Okay, so Snorlax, I'll basically talk about him. His retreat cost is huge. He's weak to the fighting, which is just weird because it's the type he's using. He's resistant to the psychic though, and he's got 100 and. Night, oh, he's got 90 HP. He's also got the power, which means he can't become asleep. Oh, the sleep's in this game, by the way. He can't become asleep, confused, paralyzed, or poisoned. Oh, asleep, by the way, I might as well just talk about it. Sleep is flip a coin every. Uh, once when you turn ends, and once when you turn begins. If you get a heads, then your Pokemon wakes up. So sometimes it can be worse than a paralyzed, and sometimes it can just be pointless. Whoop. Music glitch. It's not even laggy, anyway, anything, by the way. So and then he's also got Body Slam, which is kind of devastating, but you can just use Horn Drill twice. You may think it's cheap that I'm using Horn Drill, well that's the luck of the Irish. Oh gosh, I'll hit a ramp. Pop it on there. Let's try Double Kick! Yes! Dang it, I was gonna go for a two turn, for a single turn. And then they're too lazy sometimes. I can use my gust. Oh, why would I use my gust of wind now? Don't use your gust of wind when you have an obvious chance of killing them because it's pretty pointless then. Water energy, you know, in case. He's a dude and he's geoing. Oh, so he's got the defender there, so he's gonna reduce it by 20 damage. So if. Oh, I got a potion, that's fine. So there's a Venusaur, yeah! Can't evolve twice, by the way. Um, or twice in one turn. So I'm gonna use that one drill, and it's gonna go to 80. Wish is very thankful of him because I think he's trying to stall me or something. I'll I'll try to get uh, Venusaur out there. Yeah, we got Grass Energy on the dude. Venusaur. Got, he only needs one. Get around uh, move out, and then I'll go to Venusaur. So what Venusaur can do is, I'll, sh I'll show this off, you'll think, Oh, you've only got four Angies. Well, get that Nidoran around feet. Oh. Serious? Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Okay, come on, hold on. Check. Play area, your Pokemon. Come on, Nidoran female's got one! Game! Oh, oh yeah, we gotta select this tower. There you go. So I can grab, actually, any of these guys. Ones if I feel like it, so in case! So actually, you can use the powers whenever you feel like. So now I can use Solar Beam, which is very nice, because it does 60 damage. 420, if you like this. And he's got tons of HP, so this Onyx has no chance. At all. Entirely. Grabby, I don't care. Solar Beam! That's the strategy of your deck, yo. And Golding. I really want to get rid of all these water types because I I usually use Seal a lot. I use Seal a lot because he's very nice. Uh, so we got a mystery pack. These guys go with the fancy evolution. So we got Nitto Queen, which is very nice. Boyfriends, yeah. 20 damage plus 20 more for each Nitto King you have a play. Unfortunately, I don't have any, so that's kind of sucks. I also don't have any Nitto Arenas. And a Mega Punch, which is nice. Uh, what else? Uh, Primate's kinda cool. Um, Jolien's kinda cool. A Lick of Tongue's kinda weird. Energy removal is a pretty annoying one, because it basically removes an energy on your, on your opponent's Pokemon, which they'll use it against you quite a lot. Uh, Kabuto, kinda weird. Shelter's also kinda weird. Drowsy, and a Fire Energy. Oh wait, there's another one! Who is Zapdos? <laughs> I'm sorry, we're on the, what, third part, and we already got Zapdos. Uh, this Zapdos is actually very odd because uh, there's two Zapdos. Uh, one of them has 90 HP, this one has 80. But you're thinking, okay, well, that move is pretty strong. Uh, pretty kind of, oh, sorry, pretty weak. 48 damage, what do you mean? He's got no weakness and he's got resistance. It's very nice of him, but. 
40 damage, that's kind of weak. Well, this one, flip a coin for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. If heads, it does 20 to that. And if, uh, and then Zapdos does 10 damage times the number of tails. So basically it's a suicide, but it, not only does it does 40 to the main Pokemon, he also does 20 to anyone he gets heads on, which is pretty painful. Uh, double colorless energy, I may as well say. It does that colorless thing, but it's two of them, which is nice if you got something like Nidorino, you know? Uh, you got Primeape again, you got Persian, Energy Removal, Nidoran Female, that's nice. Right Horn! <laughs> yeah, this is a different Meowth, it's got a Payday. If Heads, draw a card. It's a little bit worse. And you got Paris, I don't care about Paris that much. So he says he's gonna win the next one, well, who cares? Because this is the end of the- no, I'm not gonna end the part now. Uh, we're gonna head in there, and we're gonna fight the other dude. And then we're gonna see if we can beat the gym leader. Ah, excavation deck. Well, that's a very, very, yeah, that's a very convenient hand. I don't have any other. Oh gosh, I'm relying on an Eevee here, and I'm going second. Well, Sandshrew, it's okay. San Sandshrew has a pretty annoying move, but it's not. Sand attack. Actually, that's very annoying. 10 damage, oh gosh, and weakness, and the weakness. So basically it does the same animation, you're thinking, oh no, I'm stuck now. Oh my god, oh, that's very nice. Hold on, get something else. Metapod! No! Okay, so what we can do is we can do tail wag. Now what sand attack does was you have to, you have to flip a coin out. It's pretty much the same thing as Leah. Oh, and he's evolved, yay! So as I said, there's gonna be times when you're gonna absolutely fail like this. Besides some battles, it's it's no biggie if you lose. <laughs> it's like, come on, that was that wasn't even the strategy choice. That was a luck draw choice. Okay, so we got Nidorans, so that's very nice, and we got Big Pour Around. Oh, that very would have come in handy before. Actually, no, it wouldn't. Have. Oh, I'm getting steam messages, that's pretty nice. Ah. Uh, <laughs> three prizes! Heads! Dang it! Why not? Uh, 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 yeah. Oh, Shelda. Shelda is a really sucky Pokemon, actually, to be honest. Okay, so you're like, okay, well, that's kind of a weird move because you basically can't deal anything. Okay, so I'll look at him. So what he can do is he can confuse the other Pokemon, half chance, and he can also prevent damage for one turn. There's still other effects, you can still get poison and whatnot, but you can prevent damage and or confuse them. Confusion by, uh, by the way, is if you get heads, do a normal attack, if you get tails, you do 20 damage on yourself, which actually gets pretty mean. Pretty much build, just expend them, just use them straight away. Um, grass energy, and I guess we'll... Like Fury Swipes. By the way, some... Oh, great. Some water types are weak to grass, some water types are weak to fighting. It's very annoying, because they change. The types are the same, but they just can't keep still. Oh, wait, anyway, he had the thing anyways. And he has the thing now, so... Oh, Krabby. Why show up Krabby? Nah. Why bother? Yes! Okay, that's good. Uh, gust of wind. If I gust of wind, what am I gonna do? Aha, uh -huh, select. So, if you press select, it will go to the whole field, which is nice to see you. What's in the opponent's discard pile? Um, see? So oh, he's got a cubone. And he's definitely paying attention to the cubone. Okay, come on! No. Come on! Come on! No. Come on! That was six in the row, man. The coin in this game, it's against you. Well, at least it's not good for him either, but... Oh, Bob's or I might... Duh, I have, like, ADHD or something. Because I'm like, ooh. Ooh, Krabby, I'll show him off. Ooh, Bob's or I'll show him off. No, I just did. Like, the previous match. Okay. 
Uh, so we'll do 20 and we'll hopefully get rid of him next turn. He's got an IQ bone. Oh, wait. No, he's got. Oh, Snivel. Um, Snivel basically means. Re oh, that was very nice. Snivel basically means reduce the damage that's done by 20, which is. really. annoying because pretty much most other attacks once if I get three hit I'm not going to do any damage I'm going to get two heads as well just in some other. so I'm going to do negative ten damage no it just doesn't do anything so basically snivel is probably a more effective way of stopping damage oh. why use a build and a professor roke well I guess because what else are you going to do with a build if you're going to use a professor roke Oh, Rage, oh gosh, that's annoying. Okay, I may as well show this off. So basically, yeah, 20 damage off, but Rage, 10 damage plus 10 more for each damage count on Cubone. So it's kind of counterintuitive, but... Okay, now I've got Kangaskhan, which is pretty cool. Uh, but we'll... We'll help that Krabby, because I'm going to want that Krabby. Come on, do one damage! Or 10! Wow! I've dealt two damage this entire match. Dude, he's almost half his deck. Rage! Rage, join! Oh, Caterpie. Oh, I just realized he's gonna do three damage. Oh, he's gonna do... Oh, thank goodness of weakness. Thank thank you, weakness. It's another keyboard, thank you. Oh, Hitmonchan! Oh, gosh! Now, here's the thing. If they're trying to stick to a rock shot... Chipe? Rock type. Why are they got the Hitmonchan? That's... Very odd. Uh... Yeah, I don't care. Uh, I'm gonna use my Switch, because I feel like it. Uh, we're gonna switch to that Krabby. What's the Krabby got? Oh, what's the Krabby got? He's weak to electric. That's nice. We're gonna use Iron Grove. Call for family, basically get some more crabbies, you know? Oh, he's gonna use Rage and he's gonna deal 30. Crabby's gonna die, I know. I'll save him. Well, go for the Grass Energy on the King's Gun. Fetch is a good move. No, just throw a card. No chance. Okay, so we gotta knock out one more. Another Cubone, really? Okay, so I'll, I'll show off that. Oh, he's got my technique down. Another arena, yay. Uh, King's Gun, okay. Uh, I'm at all. He's got the shoulder. Oh, wait! I just switched to the shoulder. Okay, sorry. Sorry, King's Gun. I can't show you off. But hit one chan. One fighting does jab. And then you can do special punch, which is very annoying. A 20 damage move with one energy is quite annoying. Like, one has it. Uh, it's hard to time, so it's okay. Uh, Kangas Khan, it's 20 damage, but you do 4 points for it. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of justified. Um, strategy win! Your shelter is powerless! I should. <laughs> if I paid attention there. Yeah! Woo! Strategy! Yeah! Not really strategy, but I don't care. So I lost! Now we get an evolution pack. This one also pays attention to evolutions, but more so the good ones. Uh, we're gonna look at this Machoke. Uh, so this one, you saw the Machop. Machoke is pretty, pretty bad. Uh, so unlike Cubone, which does more, this one does less. 50 damage minus damage, so you want to make sure you do this early. Uh, and then this one does 20 to itself, so again, counterintuitive. Uh, Horna, we didn't, we didn't see a Ghastly, but this one's pretty cool. Instant, instant sleep and Dream Eater, so that's, that's very nice. Uh, well, if you can pull off. King La, I should maybe get the King La Renana. Cubone, we know that. Pidgey just does whirlwind, and you can choose which Pokemon you get to switch to. Energy Search, yeah, Energy Search allows you to get a basic Pokemon from your opponent's, no, from your own deck, uh, which is very nice. Uh, Sandshrew, you know, Starmie, we already know that, and the Fighting Energy. 
Oh wait, there's another one. Uh, Jolteon. Uh, another evolution of Eevee. Why was I thinking Leafeon was in this game? Jeez, I'm a Dumbo. Um, quick attack. Uh, maybe the same thing as Eevee Armor. Flip a coin if heads this does 10 damage plus 20 more. If tails it only does 10. So, and Pin Missile, 4 coins. You know, that's pretty much like the one Kangaskhan has. Except less energy. Uh, Rapidash, you could do just Stomp, which does 20 plus 10 more if it tails. Just do 20. Agility is also during... Prevent all da- Yeah, pre prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to Rapidash, which is really be really annoying. Um, an electric type, the lightning type gym has one trainer that constantly spams one Pokemon that does that a lot. So basically, they deal 30 damage, and they have half a chance to pretty much prevent you from doing anything. Uh, Marowak. So, flip a coin, otherwise they then they can't attack. And then you can fill your bench with basic Pokemon chosen at random from the deck. Which is kind of weird in the trading card game trying to be random. Uh, so you got Sand Street, blah, 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 blah. Oh, there's a Ghastly. Sleeping Gas, instant sleep. No, that's a flip coin. And then this one's a discard one. And then if, it, if a Pokemon knocks out Ghastly during your opponent's next turn, knock that one too. Ghastly's kind of weird. So anyway, I'll see you kids next time when we play more card games, children's card games. <laughs>